Hello, heroes. And villains of Inns Week. Today is Take It Out of the Box Tuesday. Where we've changed it up a little bit, and we're going to show you how to play games. And today's game, Fuzzy Mage Fight. We'll see you after the intro. Coming oh. to you. Board Game Centric. Oh. We hope our mic is on. <laughs> What's up guys? I am Michael. And I'm Zach. And today, like we told you, we're going to teach you how to play Fuzzy Mage Fight. Currently one of our favorite games. With a nice little rule book. It is currently one of our favorite games. This game is brought to us by Shadow Squirrel Games. It is a game for two to six players. And it goes from five minutes, literally five minutes, to about 45. Yeah, I think the first game we played, well, the first game I played was one in three turns. So. It's pretty cool. So, right off the bat, we're going to show you what's inside the box so you can get to the table sooner. The game includes 13 jumbo cards, 12 fuzzy mage cards, and one garble card. The game also includes 16 minion cards, 16 potion cards, 16 spell cards, 16 trap cards, 60, that's right, 6 zero magic cards, and 6 fusion cards. Also, don't forget your die and your rulebook. And now that you've seen everything this little box has to offer on the inside, let's go ahead and set up the game so you can prepare to Fuzzy Mage Fight! Ooh, 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 the best part of the day. First things first, you may want to roll your die to decide who gets to choose their Fuzzy Mage first. Alternatively, you can also choose randomly, draft them out however you want to do it. So that way everyone gets to pick their own fuzzy mage. However you and your friends do it, you decide. Next, you'll take all 60 magic cards, all 16 minion cards, shuffle them together, along with 8 random trap cards, 8 random spell cards, and 8 random potion cards. That way, you can set the others to the side and have a little bit of replayability with those at a different time. And then, after that, after everyone has the deck ready, after everyone has their fuzzy mages, make sure to give Garble to the first player, and mm -hmm. all players playing the game draw three cards off the top of the deck. Now that you know how to set up the game, let's talk about the object of the game. The object of the game is the first person to get eight magic cards in their hand. Sounds pretty simple, until you actually play the game and learn your friends might whoop you a little bit. There you go. So... Play begins with the first player who starts with the Garble card. Ooh. Let me tell you what. Garble is trying to take your cards away from you. So he loves stealing. He, oh, man. He does. <laughs> so, starts with that first person, and then after their turn, it goes to the next person, all the way around the table until you come back. That's how you do one round. There you go. Your turn is broken into a few different things. Your turn will always start with the draw from a minion card if you have them on your battlefield and it will always end with a garble roll if you have garble yeah big if you might not get them ever. So, so that's your turn minion in the front garble in the back and then your turn is going to be in the middle during your turn you have three actions you can do unless something specifies you get more i told zach not to add caveats but he did so yeah, that sounds about right but there are three actions in between. Those actions can be as many times, up to three, in whatever order you want to do, however you want to do it. You can draw cards from the deck, which is one action. You can place cards from your hand, minion cards face up, and other cards face down. That's one action. Another action is to activate anything that requires an action. Um, all your fuzzy mages have abilities. Some of these abilities are passive. Some of these abilities are active, which require actions. And they'll specify on those cards. And the last action you can do is to attack. And we're going to dive into each of those actions individually here in just a moment. Drawing a card. Drawing a card is literally as simple as drawing a card off the top of the deck for one action. Boom. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Second action, playing a card. For one action, you can play a card face down. Now, if that is a spell that you would like to use for free, as long as you had just played it, you can flip it face up and activate it. That's pretty sweet. 
That is pretty sweet, especially if the spell lets you draw more cards. Boom, bonuses. Another action you can do is to activate. You can activate fuzzy abilities. You can activate cards that are already on your battlefield. You cannot activate cards from your hand. The activated cards are your face-down cards that you uh, played prior using the play action. <laughs> the important thing to remember is you are limited with how many spaces you have on your battlefield. Six to be exact. So if all six spots are full, you cannot play another card face down to activate. Right. But, however, you can spend one action to replace one of those cards. It's as simple as saying, I have this card face down on my table. I don't want it. So for one action, I'll, I'll discard it and replace it with a card from my hand. There you go. Final action you could do during your turn is to attack your Ooh. fuzzy mage versus their fuzzy mage or their minions, which allow them to draw extra cards. It's always nice to take those little guys out. There you go. So attacking comes from two different sources. Magic cards from your hand. Keep in mind you need magic cards to win the game. Or magic cards that you played face down into your battlefield. Now, if you play magic cards face down into your battlefield, they do not count towards your eight magic win condition. No, and it's important to note that a magic card on the battlefield face down is worth three, while in your hand it is worth one. It's also noted on the card, so you don't forget, but that is a, a key point to attacking or defending. There you go. When attacking a fuzzy mage with your fuzzy mage, you declare who you're attacking, their fuzzy mage or their minions, and you specify how much magic you are using. Any combination, any number, it can be from your hand, from the battlefield, whatever, you specify how much. For example, I attacked Zach's Fuzzy Mage with five magic. Ooh. Now it's up to me to do the same thing to defend. I can use cards from my hand or face down the battlefield. As long as I have a total of five, I can reveal them and defend the attack. There you go. So depending on how the battle goes, if you win or lose, a few different things happen. Let's talk about that next. Okay, Zach, let's say that I'm attacking you and I'm going to win. Ooh. I win if I produce more magic than you can defend with, correct? True. And you can only defend if you have that minimum number. If correct. you have less than, you can't defend at all? Yeah. For an example, if you attack with five magic and I only have four total between my hand and my face down cards, I cannot defend and I cannot use those cards to possibly throw them away and burn you from getting them. So, if I win, then that will cause Zach's Fuzzy Mage to be flipped into Essence Form. Boo. Boo. In Essence Form, you cannot win the game, and you will be required to at least come back to Fuzzy Form before you can win. You could have 20 Magic Cards in your hand, and if you don't have Fuzzy Form, it doesn't, you have, it doesn't matter. You can't and do anything. The other big thing that happens is once he knocks me into essence form because I lost that fight, he can steal randomly up to two cards in my hand as long as I have them. If I have less than two cards, he gets all or zero if I have none. Here's my free cards, my zero cards. They're yours. Thanks, Thanks so much. <laughs> so well, now we're going to talk about the end of the turn and the beginning of the next turn. So at the end of your turn, win or lose in combat, anything that happens... You will always end your turn the same way with a garble roll if you have him. If you don't, after you've used all your actions, your turn ends and goes to the next player. However, if you have garble, you must roll the die. And if you roll a 5 or 6, garble just moves on to the next player. Otherwise, he'll steal a card from your hand. Randomly. And randomly. And stay with you. Unless you run out of cards. If you run out of cards or you have no cards, garble will... Uh, go to the next player. And any card he steals goes into the communal discard pile right next to the deck. There you go. So, that is your turn breakdown. So let's kind of do a recap of a player turn. A player turn will always start with a minion draw if you have minions played face up on the field that you played from your previous turn. Correct. Next, there are two things that can happen. If you're in fuzzy form, you go ahead and continue your actions as we discussed prior. However, Correct. <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> However, if you're in essence form, a couple things have to happen. One, 
You have to roll the die to see if you can get out of essence form. First thing you do on your turn after you draw cards from your minions. There you go. Second thing. So if you roll a five or a six, you will immediately flip your fuzzy mage over and continue your turn like normal. Pretty cool and pretty lucky. However, if you do not and you fail to flip, you can only, and I stress only, use your essence abilities. You do you, not draw, you do not have actions, you cannot defend, um, you cannot attack. You cannot play cards face down, you cannot flip cards face up. You can only use your essence form abilities. There is, however, one other thing that's possible, but that requires someone else to be in essence form. There you go. And let's talk about that now. It's a, what is it? Fusion. Mm -hmm. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was cool, right? Go ahead and talk about fusion set. So fusion is when two uh, players that are in essence form decide to kind of make an alliance. They both take a fusion card of the same color. There are fusion cards of multiple there, colors. There are three sets of fusion cards. So, so two green, two purple, and two orange, orange yellow. yellow. Doesn't matter if we're colorblind. So um, each player gains one fusion card, and because you're fused, you both get to flip back into fuzzy form. And while you have the fused status, you both also get an extra action each. Now, if it's your turn and you decided to fuse with another player and they agreed, you cannot attack that player. That's very true. But on their turn, they can attack you. And you will want to attack them. If you attack a player that shares the same fusion color that you have, you will knock them back into essence form and break the fusion. Providing if, they don't block it. If they don't block it. <laughs> now, if someone, another player attacks either one of you and that person loses, what happens? Your fates are tied together. So if they lose and they go into essence form, or you go into essence form by another player, you will both flip back to essence form. Big bummer. Essentially, the fusion is broken as well, and you cannot fuse back together to, to flip yourselves back over to essence form. Big bummer. <laughs> <laughs> so another side note in that we should say is while in fused, fused state, you can't win. Correct. So as you, long as you're fused, you cannot win. So you have to attack the person to break the fusion. Or get knocked back into essence form, then get back into your fairy form, and and win that way. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, your turn can really hit rock bottom if you're in fuzzy form, or in essence form, and you can't roll out of it, and can't do anything else, and you can't garble. You roll a bad garble roll. Yeah, let's not talk about that. We'll talk about that <laughs> in final comments and an overall review of this game. So these are our quick notes on this game. This is the core game that we are covering. There is also an Allies expansion, which adds some friendly, fuzzy, furry friends. Which is pretty cool. Friend it's really fun. I, friendly, fuzzy, furry friends. I can't believe I said that. Yeah. Which adds a little bit, gives you a couple extra abilities. Um, and those, in addition... You just select them kind of like your fuzzy mages at the very beginning of the game. Activate their abilities the same way. Pretty straightforward. There's also another expansion called Mage Hunters. Ooh, I really like Mage Hunters. Which are two additional fuzzies, but they're not mages. Nope. In fact, they're Mage Hunters, and they cannot use magic. Not in the well, traditional sense in this game. They do have... They come with their own... Um, I want to say artifacts, but they come with their own items... And abilities, just like everything else, their turns play the same. But like we said, they can't use magic. They still need magic to win. They still need the eight cards in their hand to win. But they can't play magic to attack and defend normally. No. In this case, they use magic to power up their unique items their or their weapons. And all of that is pretty straightforward. There is one exception, being the headphones. Yes. Uh... Information said. from the creator of the game. There is a mage hunter. Let me see. I have it right here. We've got Kiki, the mage hunter. She has an ability and an ability card. I believe it is headphones. It, mm -hmm. uh, it's for defense. And she would normally add two magic cards to her headphones. Instead, she adds one. That is 
Otherwise, she's way overpowered. Yeah, she's not um, undefeatable, unkillable, but she's pretty close. She becomes the juggernaut. I didn't want to say that, but <laughs> she's a juggernaut. So, <laughs> furthering into final thoughts, um, we've enjoyed this game quite a bit. Um, we have only played 1v1. No, you've played... I've played, you played. I've played with uh, three player games. I think a four player game once. Okay, I've only played mm. 1v1. And from my experience, mm. it's it's pretty balanced for that. Mm. Yeah. You, you can have very quick games with 1v1, and you can have some long games depending on the matchups and the cards. A lot of it comes down to, you know, if you get the potions to draw 12 cards or something like that, yeah. the game can be over. But Quick. if you don't, and Garble, like we kind of mentioned before, is stealing all your cards, that kind of puts a hinder on your turns. But every 1v1 match has been pretty fun. Yeah, they've all been fun. And like you said, we've had some games end in less than five minutes. We've had other games take... With 1v1, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. They, they've never been super long with 1v1. Um, Except for Gretchen, Rip. Yeah, and we actually burned through most of the deck, which was pretty cool. It was a pretty back-and-forth game. It was quite a bit pretty of fun. fun. Yeah. So, anything else? We, I personally, if we're going to rate this game, I personally don't have any issues based on my experience with the 1v1. All the cards are great. The cards are really good quality. The art's really nice. Shout out Silver Fox for that. And, um, I don't know. I don't think I have anything. Um, one, there is a couple things in the uh, rule book, which I know a lot of this stuff is being worked on even now as we're talking about this. A lot of this is being um, clarified. clarified for certain things. Because different things are a little bit confusing. That's the one thing, if you buy this straight up, info at Jazz Squirrels. Shadow <laughs> info at shadow squirrel games.com. You can reach out to them and talk to them, and you can get Fuzzy Mage Fight from them. Um, definitely worth it, definitely do it. So, if you just happen to get the game and that's it, that's all the information you have, the clarification stuff later will uh, help out quite a bit. Now, to hit that point again, the book does have the answers, you can figure out what is going on, oh, it's yeah. just a little more open-ended than you would think. The answers aren't 100% black and white. It's not completely direct and specific, um, which can make some confusing situations, but as long as you have a cool group of people you play with, it's, it's, fun it's regardless. water under the bridge. You'll get right past it. So if I had to rate this game out of 10 fuzzy furballs, I would give it 9.5 friendly, ferocious fuzzy furballs. That's a lot of Fs. <laughs> I guess I dropped an F bomb. But, but, I, <laughs> but I give this game an A+. Plus. Oh, nice. I also give this game an A+, plus for its squirrely furriness. Um, now, I would say, um, I don't like to get in half, so I'm going to say at least a 9 out of 10. Uh, 10 out of 10, when the clarifications come out, for sure. Um, I love that the cards are indestructible, the art is amazing, the gameplay is great, um... The player count is great, and above and beyond everything, look at the size of this thing. This can fit the, the core game and all the expansions inside Every, of it. Everything does fit in this box. With extra space. This will fit in your backpack like no other. Hashtag backpack games. Hashtag game. backpack games. Oh, Air horn sounds. <laughs> 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 um. All right, guys. I think that is it. I think we've talked enough. Hopefully this has helped you guys have seen this game. Hopefully it helps you learn to play. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to us, but you can also contact info at shadowsquirrelgames.com. One try, I got it. I know. You can also go to their website, just search Shadow Squirrel Games, and it'll send you to their website, and there will be answers and stuff there as well. Um, Definitely pick up the game. It's not expensive. It's a great buy. It's a great time. And... You can play 30 rounds of it pretty quick. There you go. And if you're watching this video right now, it's still the end of August, right? Yeah. Which means we have a giveaway going on of this game. Right now, you can shoot over to our Kickstarter box opening video of this game. Leave a comment down there to be entered to win this game. Otherwise, leave a comment here. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Get notifications every time we post videos. And he already said subscribe, so yeah. I don't have anything else. 
to add. Look, that's it. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much. And remember, it's all in the box. And if you ever try to fuzzy mage fight me, I will beat you. Hashtag